What's up guys, in today's video, what I wanna do is share with you another unique ingredient that could potentially accelerate fat loss. And interestingly enough, this particular amino acid is actually generated during exercise. So the compound that I'm talking about in today's video is called L-Baba. That's spelled L-B-A-I-B-A. -B -A -B -A. Now, it's also known as beta amino isobutyric acid, which is an amino acid that's actually generated during exercise. And it's also been dubbed as exercise induced muscle factor. And it's not naturally found in the genetic code of any organism. Now, unlike protein hormones, L-Baba is a signaling metabolite, essentially a chemical messenger release from muscle cells, a myokine-like molecule that could influence other tissues. Now, muscles actually generate L-Baba by breaking down the BCAA valine during heightened activity. By contrast, a related form, D-Baba, comes from the thiamine metabolism in other tissues, but the L form is most relevant to exercise. So what does this actually mean? Well, it's a signaling metabolite, meaning that it actually relates to separate pathways and actually induces some downstream effects to support our biology. Now, specifically, what we're he seeing here is that the researchers first identified Baber back in 2014 as a factor induced by the exercise-linked protein PGC1-alpha in muscle tissues. So in essence, L-Baber is one of the ways our muscles talk to the rest of the body when we work out, helping to convey some of exercise met metabolic benefits. What's amazing about Baber is that we can actually take this amino acid in supplemental form, which is what we'll be diving into in today's video. So how does L-Baber actually work? Well, we can see here muscle signal to other tissues. Now, L-Baber is released by muscles into the bloodstream during exercise where it activates PPAR alpha receptors in organs to increase fat oxidation and transform white fat into more metabolically active calorie burning brown fat. So many of you know about the benefits of brown fat. You've heard about Dr. Andrew Huberman emphasize the importance of taking cold baths, you know, cold plunges, things that actually activate and increase brown fat. Albaba can actually do the same thing without needing to actually even jump into a cold shower or take an ice bath. In addition, Albaba has been proven to enhance fat oxidation. So by turning on the PPAR alpha pathways, Albaba boosts fatty acid breakdown in the liver and other tissues leading to jet a greater energy expenditure and fat burning without requiring changes in physical activity or food intake. Now, I do want to emphasize here that if you do want to actually check out L-Baber by a world-leading ingredient manufacturer, you need to check out NNB Nutrition. They have some incredible ingredients and they were the first ones that actually pioneered this L-Baber that, that at least that I'm, I'm aware of. So, Definitely worthwhile checking out L Baber by NNB Nutrition. In addition to this, we can see that it actually enhances insulin signaling and, and activates AMK. And it's also dubbed as a systemic exercise mimetic. So due to its broad actions on fat, muscle, liver, and bone, L Baber is being explored as an exercise mimetic that can deliver some of the metabolic benefits of exercise with no adverse effects reported in animal or cell studies. If you're someone that's been trialing different supplements and you're still lacking that energy, spark, drive, and overall vitality, then you may wanna check out my brand new supplement that I've just released called Katwa Pure. Katwa Pure harnesses the power of a particular Amazonian herb known as Katwaba bark, which has been used for centuries to boost mood, enhance energy levels, and act as an aphrodisiac. So definitely check out Katwa Pure. You can learn more by visiting inbeforesups.com. So first of all, let's look at the nutrient partitioning, glycogen storage versus fat storage. A 28-day study in mice investigated whether L-Baber supplementation could enhance glycogen supercompensation under a high-carbohydrate diet. 40 male ICR mice were divided into five groups receiving either sterile water, glucose plus casein, or glucose plus casein combined with 200 milligrams per kilogram or 400 milligrams per kilogram mitoburn. 
After 28 days, the mice underwent a 90 minute treadmill run followed by supplementation and tissues were collected 30 minutes later. Mechanistically, Mitoburn enhances nutrient partitioning by increasing insulin sensitivity and glucose uptake in muscles, supporting glycogen storage over fat storage. The results showed that 200 milligrams per kilogram Mitoburn increased muscle glycogen by 140.2% and 400 milligrams per kilogram increased it by 152.3% compared to exercise alone. Liver glycogen also rose significantly with a 147.3% increase at 200 milligrams per kilogram and a 235.2% increase at 400 milligrams per kilogram. This study demonstrates that Mitoburn promotes superior glycogen recovery and supercompensation when combined with carbohydrates after exercise. Now, what about its impact on body recomposition? Now, fat mass reduction was observed. Animal studies provide proof of concept that Baber can improve body composition by reducing fat mass. In mice, even short-term Baber treatment led to significantly lower body fat percentages. For example, this study noted a drop from about 13% body fat in control mice to about 9% in Baber-treated mice over a few weeks. These Baber-treated mice also gained less weight than untreated mice, despite similar food intake, largely due to reductions in fat weight. The mechanism behind this fat loss ties back to increased thermogenesis and fat oxidation. Baber makes white fat burn calories like brown fat, and as a result, the excess energy is dissipated instead of stored. Human data on Baber and fat loss is limited to observational findings. For instance, exercise trained individuals tend to have higher Baber levels which correlate with leanness and better metabolic profiles. No human trials have yet tested Baber as a fat loss supplement. So we must rely on animal evidence and mechanistic insight for now. Now, what about how it actually promotes the browning of white fat via PPAR alpha activation? This is really, really fascinating. A 2014 study by Roberts identified B-aminoisobutyric acid as a muscle-derived molecule that induces the browning of white adipose tissue. Mechanistically, Baber increased expression of brown fat genes like UCP1 and Cydea via activation of the PPAR-A pathway, enhancing fat burning and mitochondrial function. In vitro, Baber treatment of mouse and human white adipocytes upregulated thermogenic genes and raised oxygen consumption without affecting white fat markers. In vivo, mice given Baber in drinking water for 14 days showed an 8.8 .8 to 12.1 fold increase in UCP1 expression in white fat depots, along with improved glucose tolerance and reduced fat mass. Importantly, the browning and metabolic effects were abolished in PPRA knockout models confirming a PPARA dependent mechanism. These findings suggest Baber acts as a small molecule exercise signal that helps convert energy storing white fat into energy burning beige fat, contributing to better metabolic health. Now, what about exploring its potential anti-aging and mitochondrial effects? Beyond metabolism and body composition, Baber has drawn interest for its potential anti-aging and cell protective effects. Exercise is known to slow certain aspects of aging like muscle and bone loss and metabolic decline and as an exercise-induced factor, Baber might contribute to those benefits. Researchers have found that Baber can protect cells from oxidative stress, a key mechanism of aging at the cellular level. In bone tissue, for instance, Baber acts as a survival factor for osteocytes, bone cells, preventing their death under oxidative stress conditions. In fact, Baber was as or more effective as estrogen or the antioxidant knack at saving bone cells from reactive oxygen species damage in the same experiment. This bone protective effect translated in vivo to mice. Baber given to older mice prevented bone loss over time, akin to how exercise helps maintain bone density. Notably, the same treatment also preserved muscle function in a hind limb unloading model. On the mitochondrial front, Baber appears to support healthier, more efficient energy production in cells. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell and their dysfunction is a hallmark of aging, leading to less energy and more oxidative stress. Baber has been shown to activate the energy sensing enzyme, which in turn stimulates mitochondrial biogenesis and improves mitochondrial function. In the same study on heart muscle cardiomyocytes post-infarction, exercise-induced Baber was found to reduce mitochondrial dysfunction and cell death. Additionally, administering Baber to these heart cells and activated the AMPK pathway 
and improve fatty acid oxidation and ATP production, effectively protecting the cells from energy failure. When an AMPK blocker was used, Baber's benefits were lost, indicating Baber works largely through this mitochondrial energy pathway. One interesting observation is that Baber's protective effects are strongest in young animals and tend to diminish with old age. Not because Baber disappears, old muscles can still release Baber, but because older animals have lower expression of the Baber target receptor. This suggests that aging tissues might become less responsive to Baber's signal. Nonetheless, maintaining higher Baber levels through regular exercise or possibly supplementation might help counteract some age-related metabolic problems. Now, most importantly, let's take a look at the safety profile of Albaba. Now, the safety of Albaba has been investigated in both experimental animals and, to a limited extent, humans with encouraging results. Being a naturally occurring molecule our bodies already produce, Baba is generally considered to have low toxicity. In a dedicated subchronic toxicity study, rats were given high dosages of Albaba, up to 900 milligrams per kilogram of body weight per day orally for nine uh, for 90 days. Now the study reported no treatment related adverse effects in any of the dose groups. The highest dose tested 900 milligrams per kilogram per day was established as the no observed adverse effect level, meaning even at this extreme intake, the rats showed no signs of organ damage, toxicity or ill health. To put that into perspective, for an average human, 900 milligrams per kilogram would translate to tens of grams of Albaba per day, far more than any supplement would realistically provide. So there appears to be a wide safety margin. Now, in terms of the actual dosages for humans, Mitoburn, which is the NNB, NNB Nutrition's version of Albaba, is a patented pending amino acid metabolite of alvaline. Now, they actually recommend taking 500 milligrams to 750 milligrams of Albaba once to twice a day. Before exercise is probably the best time to consume Albaba. So about 500 milligrams to 750 milligrams per day or up to two times per day. So overall, I think that Albaba alongside some of the other potent insulin sensitizers like dihydroberberine, cinnamon, I mean, metformin is well known to uh, improve insulin sensitivity. Um, and some other fat loss ingredients, maybe like caffeine, green tea, yohimbine. Albaba is an incredible addition. So if you do want to check out Albaba by NNB Nutrition, definitely check out their website and look for Mito Burn. That's it for me today, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.